I do not understand this child, though we have lived together now, in the same house for years. I know nothing of him, so try to build up a relationship, from how he was when small. Yet I have killed the seed I spent or sown it where. The land is his, and none of mine. We speak like strangers, there's no sign of understanding in the air. This child is built of my design. Yet what he loves, I cannot share. In this poem, the father is talking about his helplessness, to understand his son. He doesn't understand his child, though they have lived together for years, in the same house. He knows nothing about his son, his behavior, his likes and his dislikes. He had tried to build the relationship, from when his child was small. But his son turned out to be a spoiled child. But why does the father know nothing about his son? It is because, elders want, that children act as per their wishes, but the children want to enjoy freedom. This difference in opinions of the father and the son, led to a communication gap between them. The father says, that he has killed the seed he had sown. What does this mean? Here, the father is shown as a gardener, who had sown a seed. Means, the father had worked hard to build up his child. But the child turned out to be a spoiled one. The father says, that he has killed the seed. Means, he thinks that he himself is responsible for this estranged relationship with his son. The land is his, and none of mine. What does this mean? The father had sown the seed, but now as his son has grown up, he wants independence. His father has no interference in his son's life. Thus the father says, the land is his, and none of mine. They speak like strangers, and there is no sign of understanding between them. The child is built to his design, means, his child looks like his father. But the father cannot tell us, what the son loves. Why? Because he doesn't know what his son loves. Silence surrounds us. I would have him prodigal, returning to his father's house, the home he knew, rather than see him make and move his world. I will forgive him too, shaping from sorrow, a new love. What silence surrounds them? The communication gap between the two, has resulted in this silence. The father would have his son prodigal. There's a parable in the Bible, a father had a prodigal son means, the son spent all the money carelessly. The son becomes poor. When he returned to his father, he was welcomed by him, despite having wasted everything. Similarly, the father says, that even if his son turns prodigal, he will forgive him. He only wants to stay with him, and lost materialistic things, is nothing, if this can shape a new love, from the sorrow. But he doesn't want, that his son goes into his own world, leaving him alone. Father and son, we both must live on the same globe, and the same land. He speaks. I don't understand myself, why anger grows from grief. We each put out an empty hand, longing for something to forgive. The father feels that they must live together, on the same globe, and on the same land. Then, the son speaks. At least he speaks. He cannot understand himself. He is aggrieved because of this strained relationship. But sometimes, this grief turns into anger. Grief means, intense sorrow. They both put out empty hands, in the hope to build a new relationship. But why empty hands? Because they just have to give each other a promise, and forgive each other, and nothing else. But this doesn't result in a cordial relationship. Their relationship continues to be strange, 